As Ethiopia's government troops continue to wage war against rebel forces in the northern Tigray region, recent t satellite images show the deployment of heavy weaponry near the Tigrayan border with Eritrea. Images collected on Monday, September 26th, show military forces, vehicles and artillery positions in the Tigrayan towns of Shir Shiraro and Serha, possibly signaling a potential escalation of the conflict. For more on this latest news, I'm joined live via Skype from here in Washington by Paul Nantulia, a research specialist with the Africa Center for Strategic Studies. Paul, welcome back to Africa 54. Thank you very much, Esther. Thanks for having me back yet again. First of all, what do you make of this new development? Well, you know, three things, Esther. The first is uh, the Ethiopian authorities uh, certainly believe that they can win this conflict militarily. And I think uh, ever since they had this uh, counteroffensive against the TPLF, when it looked like the TPLF would uh, would converge on Addis Ababa, uh, they have, uh, they have uh, you know, really beefed up their, their, their military position. So that is the first element. The second element is that the TPLF uh, believe that they are fighting a war, an ex a war, an existential, this is an existential threat. They feel that uh, that their community is going to be wiped out, and they have no choice but to hold out. And it is very alarming uh, the uh, investigations that are being conducted by the U by this special commission that has been set up by the U U UN Human Rights Council, which has indeed uncovered uh, uh, crimes that uh, that approach uh, war crimes, uh, including including allegations of ethnic cleansing. So they believe they're fighting a, a, an existential battle. The third element is, uh, I think it speaks to the failure of uh, mediation efforts. There are a number of mediation efforts going on. There's one that's being led by Olusogono Basanjo by the African Union. There are mediation efforts that are being led uh, by the United States, by the special envoy, Mark Hammer. And there is another mediation process that was launched by China, by the Chinese. And indeed, the Chinese and the uh, American envoys have been on the ground in Ethiopia, both of them, but of course, the Chinese uh, process is being run separately. Uh, but none of these uh, efforts seem to have uh, persuaded uh, the parties uh, to sit around the table. So I think these are the three main points, Esther. One would be curious, Paul, to uh, ask, why is Eritrea in this war? What is the interest? Well, uh, the Eritreans have a long-standing uh, conflict with particularly the TPLF. When the TPLF was in power in Ethiopia, it was the the senior partner uh, at the time in the Ethiopian People's Revolutionary Democratic Front. And uh, this war uh, between Ethiopia and Eritrea, um, uh, you know, it it, 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 it it created very, very serious and long running tensions, some of which actually even border on ethnic, on the ethnic dimension. Between the Ethiopians and between Ethiopia, between the TPLF in particular, and the Eritrean uh, uh, government, so there is a sense on the part of Eritrea that they have, they now have an opportunity, given that Abiy Ahmed has allowed them in to the country to help him in his battle against uh, his former comrades in the TPLF. There's a sense within uh, Asmara, within the Asmara regime, that finally they have an opportunity to, to settle this historical score that they have with uh, the TPLF. So I think it complicates the situation and it feeds into this sense within the TPLF that they're facing an existential crisis on multiple fronts. Paul, thank you so much for your insight. Paul Nantulia, Paul Nantulia is a research specialist with the Africa Center for Strategic Studies.